Happy New Year, YouTube. I'm Michelle Marar, and today I want to talk about the fact that Joe Biden hasn't denounced white supremacy or the KKK. I haven't heard him denouncing. They are insisting that Trump do it, and I think Trump has done it over and over and over and over and over again. He started back in 2016 when they were accusing him of saying it. I denounce white supremacy and KKK. And by the way, as a Trump supporter, I denounce the KKK and white supremacy. I don't think I'm better than anybody else. I do not believe that. But I am going to share with you the fact that Joe Biden has not denounced the KKK or white supremacy. Now, let's, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. I don't know if you know this or not, but Robert Byrd was a Democrat from West Virginia, and he was actually in the KKK. And I wanted to share some words that were said about that situation. Uh, let me go to this article. It was... Um, Let's see. It was in the Daily News on February 22nd, 2013. Joe Biden mourns bird is what it says. So let me get over here and just share with you what the Daily News said back in February of 2013 before they knew that Joe Biden would ever run for president again. He was the vice president at the time, you know. It says, Vice President Biden at a GE facility in Louisville, Kentucky this morning remembered Senator Robert Byrd as a mentor and fighter for his state. This is Biden's words. As we used to say in my years in the Senate, if you'll excuse a point of personal privilege here for a moment, a very close friend of mine, Oh, wait a second. He's a close friend with the guy in the KKK. Okay, let me go back. One of my mentors, okay, the, you know what a mentor is, you guys? That's somebody you look up to. One of my mentors, a guy who was there when I was a 29-year-old kid being sworn into the United States Senate shortly thereafter. A guy who stood in the rain, in a pouring rain, freezing rain, outside a church as I buried my daughter and my wife before I got sworn in, Robert C. Byrd. He passed away today. He was the, we lost the dean of the, of the United States Senate. He called the KK member member of the KKK, I don't know that Robert Byrd ever denounced the fact that he was in the KKK. And Joe Biden just called him the Dean of the United States Senate. Okay. Uh, I, haven't heard, I haven't heard Joe Biden denounce the KKK or white supremacy. Now, this is another story. This was taken in back in just recently, re explaining what uh, it says. This is from, what is this from? The New York Times. This is from the New York Times. It says, Biden recalling civility in Senate invokes two segregationist senators. Two segregationist senators. What did Biden say? He was at, an, at an, a, a fundraising event, and at the event, it says, Mr. Biden noted that he served with the late senators James O. Eastland of Mississippi and Herman Talmadge of Georgia, both Democrats, who were staunch opponents of desegregation. Mr. Eastland was the powerful chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee when Mr. Biden entered the chamber in 1973. This is Biden's direct quote. I was in a caucus with James O. Eastland, said Mr. Biden, 76, slipping briefly into a Southern accent because that's how Democrats do. They take on, instead of just speaking clearly, they want to think and relate. Oh, my goodness, I want to be Southern. <laughs> oh, well. Anyhow, according to a pool report from the fundraiser, he never called me boy. He always called me son. Okay, Joe, 
boy, a reference of boy to another white man is not offensive. The term boy is offensive to black people because it's a, it's a derogatory term. It's a derogatory term. So I'm sure he didn't call you boy because you're white, Mr. Biden. He's your good friend, your pal. Now, I will go to Snopes. And it says, you know, Kamala Harris never, she never, she never said anything about Joe Biden being a racist. And in fact, she didn't. But this is what she said. She said, so on the issue of race, I couldn't agree more that this is an issue that is still not being talked about truthfully and honestly. I, there is not a black man I know, be he a relative, a friend, or a co-worker, who has not been the subject of some form of profiling or discrimination. Growing up, my sister and I had to deal with the neighbor who told us her parents couldn't play with us because she because we were black. And I will say also that, that in this campaign, we've also heard, and I'm going to now direct this to Vice President Biden, I do not believe you are a racist, and I agree with you when you commit yourself to the importance of finding common ground. But, wait, wait, she said he's not a racist, but, I also believe, I also believe, and it's personal, <laughs> and I, I was actually very, it was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on segregation of race in this country. And it was not only that, but you also worked with them to oppose busing. And you know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools, and she was bused to, e to school every day, and that little girl was me. So I will tell you that on this subject, it cannot be an intellectual debate, debate among Democrats. We have to take it seriously. We have to act swiftly. As Attorney General of California, I was very proud to put in place a requirement that all of my special agents would wear body cameras and keep those cameras on. End quote. She didn't call him a racist, but she said it was hurtful when you were referring to those guys as your buddies. So, Again, I say, I have not heard Joe Biden renounce the KKK or white supremacy. He refuses to identify Antifa or Black Lives Matter as instigating any problems anywhere. But the bigger issue is he has not, he has not denounced the KKK or white supremacy. Mr. Biden. I call on you. You need to denounce white supremacy and the KKK today. Now, if you found this informational, I want you to give me a thumbs up. I want you to comment below. And I would love for you to share this video with everybody. Share, share, share. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Thank you.